Today on the show, we're talking about Rockstar's new Red Dead Online update payout changes and how you can make more money this week. There's a few bonuses that you can take advantage of, one of which is Easter themed, which is pretty interesting. That one in particular really isn't the best and probably not great on its own at all. But as always, I have all the tips, tricks, and guides that you need to know for this week so you can make tons of extra money with very little effort required on your part. I know the word grinding may throw people off who just like to chill out, but I hope these types of videos can inspire you and even encourage and motivate those who normally don't grind really to just get out there and push themselves a little bit more than normal this week because there is some serious money to be made and it would be a shame to miss out on that. So if you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So for our first money bonus of the week, and the more important one is for bounty hunters. All bounties in Red Dead Online, free roam tier 1, 2, and 3 bounties, legendary bounties, and the newer infamous bounties alike are all paying out an extra 50% cash. So just hopping in and playing means rest assured you'll be coming out with even more money than you would usually, but there's a few extra ways to make sure you're getting the full effect of this bonus. We've gone over how to earn gold in the most effective and efficient ways in several different guides and tip videos of mine, but when it comes to money, the payout structure structures are a little different, and this once again changed with the Bounty Hunter expansion that released in December. In that December update, free roam bounty mission payouts over time have been updated where payouts in the 0 to 5 minute completion range basically were untouched, they remain the same. Payouts in the 5 to 10 minute completion range had their rewards slightly increased, and payouts in the 10 plus minute range tail off considerably faster than they used to. Now it's clear that completing these free roam bounties in the 5 to 10 minute range seems like the best option here, and it is. With the new bounty money system, you're earning $1.50 every minute for the first 5 minutes, $3 per minute until 10 minutes, and any time above 10 minutes you spend on the bounty, you're alternating between a 45 cent and 30 cent payout earned per minute, and with this week's bonus, those payouts work out to be $2.25 per minute in the first 5 minutes, $4.50 in that 5 to 10 minute payout range, and alternating between 68 cents and 45 cents for payouts for the times above 10 minutes that you take on these free roam bounties. While 12 minutes is the time you want to target if you're interested in earning the maximum gold in the shortest amount of time, because remember, you're earning that optimal 32 gold nuggets over 12 minutes spent on bounties, but when it comes to cash and the cash bonus this week, the 9 minute completion time frame becomes much more beneficial for you as a player. You'll still be able to complete just over six and a half bounties per hour by spending nine minutes per bounty. Obviously, that half bounty on a nine minute timer works out to just be four and a half ish minutes, so you'd be in the three to six minute payout interval for gold and first five minutes for cash for that bounty, which means eight gold nuggets and nine dollars for that half bounty that you're getting cut short. But even if you're just completing six bounties per hour, that's 24 gold nuggets per bounty and $33.75 with the 50% money bonus this week, which works out to be just about $202.50 in only 54 minutes, leaving that additional six minutes in that hour that allows for mission loading times, extra time needed to restock on ammo at the post office or at your camp lockbox, watching mission completion cutscenes where you hand in the bounty target to jail, things like that. This system allows 9 minutes per bounty to reward the player the exact same gold earning rate as previously with the 12 minute method for gold as well, despite spending less time per bounty for less gold. You're actually then making it up over time with more missions completed and not sacrificing any cash you can potentially earn in the process. Legendary bounties are even better with this 50% money bonus as well this week, and I recommend you take between 9 and 12 minutes of this hour to work one of those per hour as well, since legendary bounties have a 48 minute cooldown timer anyway, you can't farm them over and over and over necessarily. Each legendary bounty also seems to have been affected by Rockstar's free roam bounty payout changes, so we can just blanket them as full bounty payout changes. So interestingly enough, you can treat them in the exact same way as we just did with those free roam and infamous bounties, but I should note that there are still legendary bounties which guarantee you more money as a base payout compared to others, and that you should focus on ones like the Virgil Edwards legendary bounty, which is one of the newer ones added, the Tobin Winfield bounty, the Red Ben Clemson bounty, and of course, at a Doyle's bounty. Red Ben Clemson is probably the most work you need to do because you'll need to transport three targets alive, and I also think Edda Doyle is the easiest on the other hand because there's a cheesing method where you can take advantage of it if you really don't want to waste any time. All that's needed is for you to hide out away from one of those bounties and wait for the imposter Edda Doyles to disappear from the map, and you'll be left with a real bounty target in which you can capture, and from there, just pop a tonic so you don't get shot and die while you hogtie your target, and from there, you can just wait until that nine minute mark again to make your money 
money for that legendary bounty. No matter which of these bounties you're doing, you will earn $225 and 24 gold nuggets just for spending nine minutes on these bounties. And let's say if you get bored of farming these four missions, you can still play the others and make a ton of money this week as well. Carmela Montez, Jeanbo Finley, Yukon Nick, Philip Carlier, and the Owl Hoot family pay out $187.50 for nine minute completion times on those bounties. And finally, the lowest paying bounties are Barbarella Alcazar, Cecil C. Tucker, and the Wolfman, which all pay $150 for nine minutes spent on those missions. You don't necessarily need to wait the half hour for the full reward because that's time you could be earning money in the free roam and actually earning more over time with that money in the free roam. But if you want to spend a half hour, you're more than welcome to. That way you can sample some rabbits as well. And we're going to be talking about that next because for our next money bonus, we have triple money and that's able to be earned from selling rabbit samples this week. This definitely is an ode to Easter coming up on Sunday and it really just leaves me with a desire to see triple sample payouts for legendary animals because imagine if we had that. If we were ever so blessed that the players could sample legendary animals and get triple rewards, that means you could sample the milk coyote, the banded gator, and the anami elk in literally less than one minute each for an easy $61.50 to $76.50 depending on which animal you went after. But that's just a dream for now. When it comes to sampling these rabbits, you'll literally find them everywhere besides the middle chunk of New Austin and way up north near Coulter and Amberino. But I advise you don't necessarily just seek out 10 rabbit samples at a time. Instead, while you're doing your free roam bounties, waiting for the legendary bounty cooldown to finish, you can sample rabbits in the meantime as you spend your nine minutes on the bounty anyway. And probably what you would be doing in that amount of time is actually running around the map on your horse hunting animals anyway as a way to drag out the timer. Or you could be collecting one of those things. You know, most free roam bounties will only take you a few minutes to complete normally just by riding there, capturing your target and riding to the nearest jail and earning triple cash for sampling a couple of rabbits each mission is a smart way to kill that time because like I said, you'd be, probably be doing hunting or collecting anyway as one of your activities. So if you're already spending that time anyway, you might as well make three times the usual money from sampling animals as well. So why not, right? But with all of that being said, we are out of time for today. That is my weekly money guide and payout changes review video for this week. I hope you can make tons of extra money this week because I think it's really worth it. And between the more relaxed and chill rabbit sampling that you'll be doing and then the more action that you'll be involved with during your legendary bounties and the free roam bounties, I think it creates this nice back and forth and sort of like a hot and cold dynamic while you earn your extra money with these bonuses this week. But with all of that said, hopefully you'll enjoy the video today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and want to stay up to date with the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we upload here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks. And we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And you're more than welcome to ask me any questions. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. I also want to give a big shout out to those of you who support me over on twitch.tv. We are approaching 30,000 followers on there very fast, so thank you for making that journey such a blast for me. But with all of that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.